Love that music. At the time they were invented, cell phones seemed like a great idea. Be in touch whenever you want it. No more stopping at phone booths in emergencies, fishing for dimes to make a call. But has their convenience cost us our humanity? And BTW created a Frankenstein of behavior. OMG, does it sometimes have you R-O-T-F-L-O-L? Our technology guru, Alan Hoffman, reminds us of a little something called etiquette. Thanks for joining us today, Alan. And, you know, I'm sure most of us have sat somewhere while someone was on a cell phone and wondered, why is this person talking here? Exactly. I mean, it's, it's everywhere. You see it. people are walking down the street. They're crossing the street and there are cars coming and they're on their cell phone and you're like, watch out there. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it really pervades every part of life now. And I mean, we're not going to get rid of cell phones and smartphones, of course, but I think we could use some, some lessons or basic etiquette on what the right behavior is with these devices. Sure. At some point, uh, you know, we've seen the video of people falling into fountains and holes in the ground we're talking on their phone or texting and not paying attention and of course accidents texting and driving right uh, but you know we talk about cell phones but are there other technologies that are getting in the way of, of us you know having some respect for each other sure I think it's not just the cell phones but it's also the tablet computers people are now carrying around their iPads and other tablet computers and they're using these to take pictures and do other things which can all be great but I think people are sometimes just taking the, it too far and they're picking up their iPad while they're having dinner with someone else in a just date with someone. Just because they can. Right. And also it's what's on these devices. So it's like people feel like, okay, my social network is on there. All of my friends are on my device. And they're not thinking about the friends who they might be with at mm. that moment as opposed to the ones they can connect with remotely. Sure. And now there's another element to this, the language that we use. Nowadays, you know, we've reduced thoughts and, 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 and conversations to these acronyms, you know, LOL, OMG, right. and those kinds of things. Um, have we lost the art of conversation? I'm not sure. I think that some of that is a new form of conversation, which I might not participate in too much. But certainly kids who were, you know, 12, 13 have one language. Kids who are, you know, a little bit older have another one, then 20-somethings. So I think that that is something that the language really is evolving in sometimes interesting ways. Mm -hmm. But I think where the conversation is lacking is at the dinner table, at other places where people feel they're in such a rush to connect with the thing that's on their device that they're being inappropriate sometimes. Sure. I mean, they're either on a train and they're screaming into their phones or they're out on a date and they feel like, you know what, I really got to check the sports score so I'm going to peek <laughs> under the I've table. At, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so, but I think it's not just men, it's, you know, and women are like, okay, I got I to gotta text my friend right now. She mm -hmm. hasn't heard from me in the last 15 minutes. So I, I better tell her how it's going while we're on this date. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. I think people need to need to give it a break. Yeah, and certainly we've had moments where it's come to confrontation over someone in a restaurant talking on their phone and the people in the booth next to them are complaining. Right. Uh, we've seen that happen. Uh, at some point when you buy a, a device, uh, you think there should be a, a, a do and don't manual of some kind? That would be great. I mean, if they came with a manual, I think no one would pay attention to it <laughs> since I think everyone, if you said to someone, hey, do you pull out your phone during the dinner table all the time and just ignore the people around you, they'd be like, no way. People know these things, but I think we're, you know, it's, it's almost like we need a new Ms. Manners for the, this age, yes. that someone who can really tell us exactly, you know, and, and really tell it like it is. And I'm not sure people would listen though, since they're so into these devices. Yeah, yeah. Wow, it's, uh, it certainly has, technology has brought some new things we've had to deal with. And uh, I guess common sense is what has to prevail. Yes. But thanks, Alan, for coming on board. Always a pleasure to have you. 